my beloved love. And they're really rocking their brains trying to figure out if you like them. Um, if you're picking up hints, maybe this person is asking you to go to lunch. Maybe they're asking you to hang out. But you're looking at it as super casual, okay. But yeah, whoever this person is, they're definitely in your proximity. And I really, really feel like they felt this way about you for a very, very long time. Wow, we have I admire everything about you. Wow, this masculine is completely enamoured with you, divine feminine. This is getting very interesting in this reading. Yeah, with door to personal healing and happiness reversed, if someone is not willing to embark on a healing journey, a journey of deep self-reconnection, they will run from you. Because no one can remain in your energy without deeply reconnecting with themselves or beginning to be held accountable to that. I keep getting chills all over. You are in such an empowered state at this time. And what I'm really feeling from someone's guides is pride. Pride and admiration for you, for how far you've come, for how empowered you've become. I feel someone's guide saying, don't you see how your empowerment is so powerfully impacting the people around you? And my eyes are even starting to well up with tears a little bit because I feel like this has been a really hard journey for someone listening and they're really being guided to look back in positive reflection and just see how far they've come. So, I'm going to be reshuffling the cards here and since we've spoken to the Divine Feminine why not channel into the Divine Masculine's energy here? So I haven't done a seven chakra read in a while but I'm really feeling guided to start with the root chakra the most conscious, manifested aspect of the energy. What is the divine masculine feeling on the root chakra? What they are most consciously aware of? By the way, when I say divine masculine, this could be an energy within you, divine feminine, because you do have the essence of the divine masculine within you, as well as the divine feminine. This also could be a specific external person. It is typified by wholeness. There is nothing within you that would cause the divine to turn away from you, not even those parts of you that may fill you with fear, shame, guilt or regret. You are so loved. Can you take refuge in this knowledge? Feel it, not only as an idea, nourishing as that is, but as a visceral reality. Allow yourself to feel the peace and receive healing. This unconditionally loving energy is not limited to the one bearing its name, but is shared by Rui and many other holy ones. So, that feels like a beautiful place to close this reading. Again, I will now be heading over to Patreon for the extended reading. The link to that is under the video. Otherwise, I'm sending you all so much love. The reading was very interesting because a divine masculine came out at the beginning of the reading, but then it almost felt as though they were being put on the back burner and a divine feminine came through very strongly, very much embodying the empress kind of energy. From divine muscular, type yes, if you believe. 